Welcome back. Today I wanted to print a flying night dragon. I've been seeing them online and wanted to see how large I could make it on the Prusa XL. I downloaded this model by Sevro from the printables website. First I sliced it just at 100% scale, the regular size that you download. This size ends up being about 6 inches from nose to tail and from wingtip to wingtip it's about 9.5 inches. In the details, he recommends using 100% infill and 0.2 layer height, so that is what I did. He also recommends a 0.6 nozzle, which was convenient because that's the only size nozzle that I have for the Prusa XL. This regular size runs about 27 minutes to print. And I did use PLA, this is the Rainbow by Sunlu again. It looks like I had supports enabled, so there is a little bit of support that printed underneath the chin area. I really wanted to print this size first because it does say that it is able to fly and I wanted to see with that single first layer um, how the weight would work and just kind of get a test print before I scaled up. It loads in slicer straight but I went ahead and turned it at a diagonal because I know when I scale it up I can get a little bit larger size by doing that. And I wanted to check that that first layer still works being at the diagonal like this. Let's see how it turned out. I'm still having a really hard time with this large build plate. The magnets, trying to get things off of the build plate is still pretty tricky. But it turned out really cool. The single layer is really cool on the wings because you can see through a little bit. You get a lot of detail that way. And technically it's printing upside down. I did use the STL where I can add horns later so there is that slot there. This little support pops off really easily. So I was able to scale it up 200% and it still fits from the diagonal the way that it's printing like this. I did 200% on the X and Y axis, but not the Z. I wasn't sure if it ended up having two layers on the wings if it would be too heavy. So I just went ahead and kept it at the 100%. Still 0.2 layer height with 100% infill, 0.6 nozzle, and the same PLA in the rainbow. I was kind of hoping that the rainbow would change a little quicker, that there would be some cool color variation in this, but it seems like it pretty much just printed the exact same color of pink all throughout. I'm trying out a new camera on these videos, and there is a little bit of strobing when I speed this up too much, so I'm just going to skip ahead. I did remove the supports when I sliced this second one. And this one pops off pretty easy. I had also switched to the textured sheet. I meant to do that on the original one too, but I had forgotten. It looks good overall, and I really like the way the textured sheet kind of gave it almost like a little bit of scales. Because I was able to do a full 200% on the X and Y, this ends up being 12 inches from nose to tail and right at 19 inches from wingtip to wingtip. So it's really large. Let me know if you think I should have gone ahead and done 200% on the Z as well, if that made the proportions on the head a little bit off. This is both of them together. The XL really is able to print much larger prints. And the larger dragon took right around an hour and a half to print. I did bend the wings and things as I understood on the details. Okay, so for the most important part, can they fly? I started with the smaller one first, and then the larger one, and then I tried them both again. The smaller one does glide, but not very well, and it does seem like the larger one glides better. Thanks for watching.